Today, I am imprinting the power of love to all genuine hearts. This is the most important sacred message I will share to all genuine hearts, as this spells my faith and courage. I am activating your soul truth through my words. Listen to the sound of a siren as I am activating your sun path. I am sharing the healing light in the eternal now through my wisdom writing. The sand path. The seeker's sacred journey for the fragment of light. A divinely guided writing of the truth behind the fragile eyes. The seeker's continuous quest for the fragment of light as we walk with trust and faith in total surrender to its own sun path to claim the birthright of holding the treasure of pure light. The seeker in my being as a whole search for answers on why the fragment of light was the most important quest in my life. I was born on the extraordinary day of the year, Christmas Day, at 4.33 a.m. I was then diagnosed to have been born with an eye defect, which was only detected when I started schooling. I would touch things around me to see it clearly. At the time I was at the womb of my mother, she told me that she always looked at the eyes of the Santo Nino for nine months without knowing why. A miracle was given to me as a gift from the source. A gift of knowing ahead of time the solution to the blindness I could have gone through if the eye defect was not detected at a young age. Doctors treated my eyes to open the passageway of light. Doctors described my eyes through the words we can grasp. The only light that enters my eyes was just a size of a dot of a needle. A miracle have healed it ahead of time before my eyes totally close off from the light and be blinded at a young age. I enjoyed all the graces of the creation for I saw its beauty through my blurry eyesight. The activation of being a blue ray was given to thee this fateful year of eleven, and answers for the quest for the fragment of light was given continuously until my last breath to anchor the new earth in my sacred heart 
and share it to others. I was fully awakened with the help of the twin flame activation given to thee to hold the new earth and enjoy the heaven of living now as the pure light. This I call now as the eternal now. Ascended Masters guided me to write this seeker's journey for it is the now that I have to share this sacred message as for the whole month angels and guides also push me to write the central sun and to face the truth it brings. I ask for this writing's healing light to envelop me with the Holy Spirit and share the sacred message with utmost love. Divine Source now guides me to imprint through these writings the message of unconditional love for all to glimpse the hidden treasure to all experiences and claim the sanctuary we all yearn for as we come home to the loving palm of our Creator. The central sun can be likened to a flashlight, the light it projects and gives out is in the middle or at the center part but we also have to see the beauty of the whole for the dark part of the circle which is part of creation the light glows brightly and can be seen by our fragile eyes because it shines through darkness the darkness of creation is part of the whole which is not to be understood as dense or low energy. The black canvas of the creation is the beginning of the process of painting the white light that in turn gives out the masterpiece of the rainbow light where we all traverse to reach the new earth, heaven on earth. The sun and moon combined as one can be likened now to the dot of the needle that enters our eyes. For it is the fragment of light we all yearn to understand. The solstice sacred message in the eternal now is for us to have a vantage point of looking at our future present and past for in the new earth all of this will merge into one as the eternal now and as we shed all the old out of our pure being we are now asked to always stay grounded for all the twin flames, way showers, and all healers, as we are now being awakened to our full potential. Be of good courage, for we are now at the middle of traversing the rainbow. The transition gives out the intense wave of the ship. We have reached the halfway to our source. Old and new would make us cry out loud the wave it brings. All tears is healing our entirety now and be replaced by the tears of joy. 
The unconditional love is coming back as fragments of light to us so as we journey in the rainbow light. A vivid sacred memory I had when I was small was that we traversed and journeyed through the rainbow and I was pulling all as a leader and making sure that everyone is included for us to reach the great end of the rainbow, the great unknown. In that fateful journey, I was the first one to receive and experience the intense waves, courageously journeying with faith. All of the pain and fears was experienced as the wave of air was so strong. But every step of the way, I pulled everyone and assured them that we can do it even if I saw that some were afraid of the shift. But my strong belief of passing all the obstacles would lead us back to our pure light, an embodiment of all the colors of the rainbow, the solstice now reminds us, the healers, that we have reached the middle of the journey and there is no turning back. As the harvest is great for the new earth, heaven on earth, the shift and event of the three days darkness is already experienced by the awakened ones. The dark night of the soul I experienced lasted for three nights, 13th, 14th, and 15th. It was the most challenging ordeal as I was awakened and discovered that everything that the ego fed me was a lie. The pain and fear were all acknowledged to come into surface and be recognized for the purpose of transmuting all the darkness into light. Then I saw the sky blackened for three consecutive nights. The movement was fast and the blackness was extreme after the one hour. I moved with my intuition at a fast pace on the important hour, 9 o'clock to 10 o'clock. For three consecutive nights, this was the hour extremely guided by ascended masters and angels at that ordeal of my dark night of the soul. As the low and dense energies come into light, it was a battle, for the ego was dying, as well as the psychic attacks done to my being. Psychic gifts and vulnerability was extreme, and I saw the black smoke come out of my system. I was totally awakened and low energies tried all their might to kill me with all the fears that came out of my system. The beating of my heart could have stopped on those moments of the dark night of the soul.
but my faith and courage kept me up afloat I sang the song entitled Soul of Christ on those nights and it sustained me for I know that the message of the Sacred Heart of Jesus to me on the fateful year of 2010 is already happening. As my eyes at that time also came back to the near blindness disposition. The light that entered my eyes was the size of the dot of a needle. An ordeal that could have killed me but I know in my heart and soul that this is only the ego death and the rebirth of the truth the three days of darkness already happened to us the way showers the intense shift is the event as way showers the dark night of the soul was experienced by us ahead of time so that we will stand as the genuine eyes and pure light of those who will be awakened The year 2010, as a blue ray who understands and see now the clear picture of my whole existence, I share now the divine encounter I had with the Sacred Heart of Jesus, Holy Spirit, Holy Trinity, and Divine Source. As I was journeying along the mountains to reach my destination, which is my safe haven, a bus ride in the mountains, I saw the sky and it opened. A circle of light came out. It was the most beautiful scene I have ever encountered. Then I look at the pa bus passengers, if they saw it also. And I was a bit puzzled why they didn't see the beauty of the light. It was like the sky is opening up for me and giving me the most radiant light to the circle of light. After that scene, as the bus traveled, some of my abilities were heightened. I saw the beauty of all of creation and a speed of events that might happen in the future. And before I reached my safe haven, different lights and events flashed at a speed of a nanosecond. It was the fastest speed of light I have ever seen and my gifts and abilities was heightened but kept my composure and calmness as I was still alert as a passenger in a bus. As I reached my safe haven, I can feel that the Holy Spirit is with me. Then I wrote all the solutions of the things yet to come in a small book, gave it to a prophet who means blessing. I went to the church and prayed. I also went to the grotto of Mother Mary in the children's school. I prayed on bended knees. As I, I, as I don't understand everything that was happening, surrendered my all to the Divine Source with 
tears in my eyes. Then the strongest light appeared. The white bird with the strongest light kissed my forehead. And as I gazed at the strongest light above, my eyes became blurry. So I just prayed and give up my all to the divine source of light. The pure white light enveloped my whole being. I surrendered I surrendered all the things I have seen and offered back the miracle of my eyesight given to me when I was small. I know in my heart at that moment that I have to let go all of the physical eyesight for me to see with my heart what the Divine Source was giving me as a message through my heightened abilities and gifts. The Source wants me to embrace fully my full potential, as the hidden gifts cannot be seen through our physical eyes, but through our hearts. Then as my eyes became blurry, I walked and prayed that everything and everyone will be blessed and protected. Then as my tears continuously flow, I saw the most radiant light from above. I cannot close my eyes as it was so bright. I saw Jesus Christ walking in the streets. For years now, wearing a green robe that was torn barefoot. I wanted to run to him at that moment. I wanted to help him and be with him. But through his sacred heart, I listened to my heart and he gave me the sacred message to stay where I am as I don't have to run to him and help him as he can do it with the divine guidance of the source. Jesus Christ was walking and guiding all the people in the streets. So I calmed down as I thought that I was already a spirit like him. Then when I, then when I calmed down, the book of truth and life was shown to me at the speed of a nanosecond. The past, present, and future was given. And what pained my heart at that moment was the future of mankind. For the ego-centered life and the self-absorbed way of living that led to the destruction of Mother Earth. It was so devastating And with my closed fist, I struck the ground. And he cried. For the pain it brings.
shouted with my old silently through my heart as I didn't like what I saw as tears flow out of my fragile eyes the Christ the King with a most regent sacred heart appeared and assured me that everything will be new the Christ the King with the most radiant sacred heart appeared and assured me that everything will be new as he makes things new he was wearing the finest and most radiant red robe with the grandest light and when my entirety has saved in my heart the calmness of the light of the sacred message the most radiant pure light appeared and i saw it with my fragile eyes and heart the light was so strong it blessed me with its purity purified my soul and in entirety And when the sacred memory was imprinted in my heart, the rays of light disappeared and I was blinded for a couple of days. But I was healed and regained the blurry eyesight again. A miracle of the balance of darkness and light as experienced by my fragile eyes. My spiritual awakening started last 2010 and was awakened of all the truth and answered all my life's challenges when I was activated in the twin flame connection my gift as a blue ray of seeing through the eyes of another their soul truth was activated at the start of the year i met my twin flame as i look at others eyes i see their soul wounds and potentials and in turn absorbs also the pain of the soul and carry the weight with them it was a gift i did not understand when i was small and did not use it until that fateful year when it was activated the gift was only understood fully by me when i was activated as a blue ray and understand all of my ordeal in life i was about to write a book entitled sun path on the year i met my twin flame divine complement the awakening and ascension process was fully activated when i met my twin as the sacred genuine twin flame activation was given at the span of time i was with my twin abilities and gifts was opened ancient codes 
and different sacred keys were given as activations for the healing work. Genuine gifts and potential saved in my DNA and sacred heart were so intense at that time as I cannot handle all of it at once. It was an experience of seeing things in the 3D world, but looking at them and reading them with ancient codes and symbols. It was so fast, and it felt like the alphabet we use and languages cannot be compared to the vastness of the sacred symbols and languages given. The healing of one and all was also given, but with a challenge of a tipping point of the dark night of the soul, which lasted for three nights in my experience, and paved way to the healing of my soul wounds. The aftermath of the shift and event is also intense. For I search for the divine source in an island where I can find the giant palm and search for the missing puzzle piece of the sacred sun path and found it in the eternal love of the divine source. And as a blue ray twin flame energy healer, the Holy Trinity. The Sacred Heart of Jesus Christ, Sacred Message Now, as I unlock the Sacred Key, is the restoration of the truth that the Holy Spirit, which is the Holy Sophia, as Goddess of Wisdom, as I represent the Divine Feminine in this incarnation, I now birth in my womb of light, the birth of the Divine Feminine who was lost for centuries, which has the Divine place and birthright to complete the Holy Trinity. This essence is the vessel of the Sacred Heart that equalizes the scales of balance for all of humanity. Please open your sacred heart and sacred mind to use it and know in your heart that we are all in the womb of the one who carries all of humanity and that is Mother Earth. As we embrace the transformation and unlock the sacred sun path of the new earth, Embrace the truth. Embrace the truth now, as the Divine Source would not lead us astray. Our Creator is calling us all now to come home to the Garden of Light, where the Sanctuary would make us claim our pure birthright of our full potential. I give this sacred message to imprint the unconditional love of the Divine Source for my fragile eyes have seen the pure light and I am sharing this sacred truth and healing to all. With love, Sophie, Divine Feminine, the name whispered by the Tree of Life to my pure heart. Copyright 11 year with pure light and love. Share divinely guided writings and include the source Sophie, divine feminine, the name whispered by the tree of life to my pure heart. Include all words for the clear picture of the divine wisdom as these messages are the vessel of sacred heart, love of the Holy Spirit, Sophie of Christ, goddess of wisdom guided extraordinary divine wisdom of eternal love and i am grateful to share this healing wisdom to heal all and unlock the sacred keys in our being with love eternal sophie divine feminine i am the sound of a siren